Today's video is about how to orient your Tinkercad designs for 3D printing. I'm going to start with the simple balloon powered car lesson. Uh, let's dive in. So first thing you want to do is log into Tinkercad and once you're at your dashboard you're going to go to lessons. We are going to go to our balloon powered car and click Tinker This. Now once it's loaded you'll see that this is what you get when I click on my assemble car here in the middle. That's what you actually have designed um, and getting it ready to print. But what you have to do is you have to separate the parts so that they'll actually print. Because if we printed it like this, everywhere you see a shadow here on the work plane would be an overhang and it may not print. Especially here if I change my angle of my view, you can see there's a gap between the body of my car and the base of my work plane. So I have to use a lot of support material that I break away. And there's a chance that the print itself will actually fail. So what you have to do is disassemble each one of these components and lay it out as flat as you can on the work plane. See, as you can see, I've actually separated the body, the wheels, and the axles. So if you remember back to your lesson, most of these, most of everything in here is already grouped. So it's fairly simple to actually separate them out and get them ready. So again, if your whole entire car is grouped, what you're going to want to do is ungroup them. But I don't. I just want to separate my main body from my wheels and my axles. So I'm going to select my body. I'm going to move it off to the side like that. And you could say it's still off the bed. And I'm going to press the D key. That's going to put my object onto the work plane and lay it down flat. So now that's prepared. So now we're going to have to set up the, the four wheels and the axles in a position that they are able to print in. So one at a time, we're going to select our wheels. First, you may have to ungroup. And then we're going to rotate them to 90 degrees. So you'll notice that if I change my view, my camera view here, that different tools pop up at different places um, giving me a different uh, um, allowing me to manipulate them in different ways so what I want to do is change use the angle tool here which is with these two arrows click and hold it I'll demonstrate with another one drag that one out so we're gonna click and hold this and then by holding it down on the dashes you can see we jump by 22.5 degrees. If I go to the outside edge, I can fine tune it. But I don't want to do that. I want to go to 90 degrees. Okay, now I know that the, I'm still again above my work plane, so I'm going to, with it selected, press the D key. I'm going to do that with my other one. So D. Now we'll continue to do that with our other two wheels. Remember, you got to change your view in order to get the, the tool you want. And we'll go to 90, D. Drag this one out, and we'll rotate it back, D. Same with our axles, we'll rotate it to 90, press the D, rotate it to 90, press the D, and then, because we don't want it all spread out over our build plate like that, we'll just drag the items closer together like I have in the top. So drag them all together, drag them all together, and you can either group them or just draw a big box around everything to select everything. Click export. Make sure you have only your selected shapes or if that's all you have on your work plane, just say everything in this design. Export it as STL and away you go. If you're a student, it's pretty simple. You'll just finish your design here and your teacher will moderate and be able to get your car ready and printed. Um, it's a good thing sometimes um, if there's multiple students in one class. What you can do is just, uh, before you print it, add, let's say, your initials onto it. Oh, we'll drag a work plane there first. <laughs> so by dragging the work plane there, we'll add me my initials, we'll rotate that, and yeah, and then we'll align that. Maybe we'll align the two letters. So I'll align them that way, and then I'll select this letter here. Select this letter here, and then I'll overlap them slightly, and then we can even push them through the work plane by about one millimeter. And 
And now we are ready to group. We'll group those all together. Drag a new work plane on here. And presto, we're ready to print our car. And we know it's ours because our initials are there. Great. Thanks for watching.